Um, Hi, Connie, Lenora, uh, Edith, and Susan, and Rachel. Well, hello, Marlene. Good morning. Happy Friday. <laughs> yep, always. Um, so today, I was going. I'm going to start us on Birkat Hamazon, the grace after meals. And my frustration is the different versions out there. I cannot, oh my golly. Um, oh. So if any of you have the Women's League calendar. Yep, I do. Oh, the calendar? The calendar. Okay. Uh, it's also in, so we're going to open to it in a couple of places. And the calendar, depending on which size you have, the print is small. But anyway, page 139. No, I have, oh, you have the big one. one. We got the laminated <laughs> one from Women's League. I love it. Yeah, I have the little one. But so it's in the calendar toward toward the back where the notes are, page 139. It's oh also in Lev Shalem. Um, there's the long version and the short version. So either page, so the, the red um, prayer book, page either 87 or 94. But I also have it part of it, it on my screen at times. This is the challenge is, you know, it's like, which version? And, and I'm assuming that Women's League at convention, and the reason I'm teaching it to you is because at convention, after every meal, we will sing this, this Grace After Meals. So I'm assuming they will do a version which is hopefully identical to what is in the calendar, which is why I suggested you open your calendars. But I promise nothing because they probably have a laminated. Yes, Susan. I think they use the laminated one. Yeah, right. right. But there are different versions of the laminated one. Like there's a blue laminated. What color laminated is that? Mine's one? blue and it says abridged. Yeah, yeah. It's blue and it says abridged. Yeah, so and at my show, it used to be we used this laminated one, but it said men's club on it, not women's league, you know. So I, I just doesn't really matter. Um, I'm, we're going to do the overview and the first and the beginning. We're not going to get through the whole thing, obviously, in one sitting. I assume it's new to many of you. Um, and Geraldine, so I don't know if you saw my email. I, I wondered if you had the music. God bless you, girl. <laughs> you're muted, so we can't hear a thing, but I know you're saying something. <laughs> yeah. I'm reading okay. your lips, though. All right. So uh, the world is okay. So I don't know what fell, but something did. Yes, I just <laughs> found this, um, but it seems to be quite lengthy. It is, but the oh. but so the tune repeats. There's certain motifs that have the same tune, and then other sections that have a slightly different tune. You know, typical Jewish prayer stuff. Um, Audrey, we're talking about Birkat Hamazon. Yes, Susan. I just have a question, and Gerilyn may be able to answer it because you're in the bat mitzvah class, right? But it's is. the class. Um, Women's League does have Birkat Hamazon on the website with track one, track. I have it up on my screen right now, using? and I'll, I'll I'll show everyone. So. You're absolutely right, Susan. It was done as a tutorial or a study session prior to convention three years ago, and it was okay. posted. It was done in parts over Zoom. It was recorded and posted. Um, okay. I'll be using, well, I was planning on using the PowerPoint that is part of that tutorial. The problem I ran into, and so there are 15 tracks where she sings it in tracks. She sings various sections of it, broken up into 15 sections. And it doesn't track with the calendar version of the prayer. And so I got really frustrated. Does it track with the, the PowerPoint? laminated card? The, um, I don't know, because I don't have the laminated card. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, you're right. This is my challenge. Um, uh, but nevertheless, I know it. And, you know, we're, we're going to learn it in parts and just 
not to worry. She, her singing voice, of course, is much more angelic than mine, but you guys put up with mine all the time. So it won't, I won't, um, you know, make your ears bleed. Um, anyway, so Audrey, um, if you have the Women's League calendar, Birkat Hamazon is in the back. Okay, if you have <clears throat> Lev Shalem, the Red Book, um, Uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm so let's start with page 94 it is Lev Shalem that's the the shortened version they call it an alternative it's the shortened version what page um, was that again uh 94 in Lev Shalem thank you um that doesn't, so, that doesn't start with sheer Hamala it does not start with Shir Hamala, correct. It starts with Baruch Adonai Ohenu Melcholam, Hazan et Ha'olam, right, okay? But what I like about this page is the um, sidebar on the right where it's a <coughs> version of Birkat Hamazon. You guys see, okay. Connie, yes. will you read that to us, this version? Sure, sure. This version of Birkat Hamazon is based on Geniza fragments, representing a version of the text used in the first millennium in the land of Israel. It was suggested for contemporary use by Professor Saul Lieberman, rector of the Jewish Theological Seminary. Grace Keep after going. meals. Yeah. The ancient rabbi suggested four blessings to fulfill the biblical exhortation to bless God following the meal for the food that feeds the world, for the land that God has given us for redemption and for the good that we encounter. Thank you, exactly. So, okay, so give me one second. Oh my gosh, as I was saying earlier, I have so many things up on my screen. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, I apologize for all these things. Hold on, let me make it so you can see the part I want you to see. I want you to see this. Let's make it bigger. Whoa, that's pretty darn big. Okay, so this is the PowerPoint that is in the Women's League website. Um, uh, come on, come on, come on. Here, it's called How to Lead Birkat Hamazon. There we go, it's a PowerPoint. Um, but so this um, explains, you know, what is it? It's the blessing after meal. In Yiddish, benchlich or benching. I don't know if you've heard the phrase benching. Where's the benchers? Yeah. It's yeah. it's just there the Yiddish you know. phrase for birkat hamazon. My daughter yeah. had her wedding separate books and they were called yep. benchers. Exactly. Indeed, indeed. Um so, and as we just read, the main four blessings are broken up into um, Chazan, which is food, Chazan et Olam, Haaretz, the land, Yerushalayim, and Hatov v'hametiv. So, um, uh, Hatov v'hametiv, right, goodness and relationships. So, um, why do we do it? We kind of just read that, you know, bring awareness, meaningfulness, gratitude, and intention, and it's commanded in Devarim. Oh my God, sorry, I did not mean to do that. Um, and how? So there's a combination of communal sections with different musical motifs. There, so the thing about Birkat Hamazon, and the reason I am frustrated with trying to find a version that anybody can follow here. So I've changed pages on you. So here online, I found this lovely Safaria, um, Birkat Hamazon, right? So here they're starting with a preliminary Psalm, which isn't even the Psalm we're familiar with, as Connie mentioned, Shir Hamalot. Shir Hamalot, so if you, if you look at page 87 in, um, Lev Shalem. This is the full grace after meals. It starts with Shir Hamalot. Um, Shir Hamalot is said on Shabbat on on certain holy days. Um, it's a it's prescribed when you would add this psalm. Um, 
And this psalm uh, talks about, so let's see, um, Connie, do you happen to have page one, page 87 open? Yep. Okay, so will you read on the right hand um, sidebar again, Psalm 126? Sure, enters, centers on a version of the joy of return from exile. Appropriately, since it describes the return to the land, its central images are agricultural. The contrast between the work of planting and the joy of harvesting may serve as a metaphor <clears throat> for the work of the week and the enjoyment of Shabbat and the festivals. Mm. There is some ambiguity as to whether the psalm describes a past event, the return of the exiles, probably from the Babylonian exile, or the hope for a future return. <clears throat> Various translations alternatively employ the future or past tense. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So, um, you know, this this is the behind the scenes, right? What, why we do what we do. Um, so, um, I think, so on Rosh Chodesh, I believe... We'll start with Shir Hamalo, but I could be mistaken. But so I thought we would, so convention, one of the days of convention is Rosh Chodesh. So that's why I'm mentioning this. And, um, oh, it does, yes. So we, on Rosh Chodesh, we will definitely start, start with this paragraph. So that's why I thought we should start here. Okay? Rachel, quick question. Which day of the convention? Is it Tuesday or Sunday? Um, well, uh, so sorry. Tuesday. Don't worry about Tuesday. It. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, um, I'll. Uh, I I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have us listen to this being sung, if that's okay. Okay, Beautiful. and then we'll go back and read it. Okay, so bear with me for one second. On Shabbat, festivals, Rosh Chodesh, and other joyous religious occasions. Can you hear okay? Yes. 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 That was beautiful. Pretty. Okay. So, beautiful one. So uh, um, are some of you familiar with that tune? Yeah. yeah. Good. Wonderful. Okay. And Geraldine, did that at all track with what you found in your book? You're on mood again. I have so many books out here. By the time she finished, I found the book. Okay. <laughs> you want me to play it again? Sure. Yes, I'll play it again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give me. I gotta hold on. Oh, it's here. I just have to find which. Here we go. On Shabbat, festivals, Rosh Chodesh, and other joyous religious occasions. Shir hamalot b'shuv Adonai 
את שיבת ציון היינו כחולמים, אז ימלא שיחוק פינו ולשוננו רינה, אז יאמר הגויים, הבדיל אדוני לעשות עם אלה, הגדיל אדוני לעשות עמנו, היינו שמחים. שוב אדוני את שביתנו, האפיקים בנגב, הזורים בדמעה, ברינה יקצורו. הלוך ילך ובכו, נוסעים נשך הזרה, בוא יבוא, יבוא ברינה, נושא על אומותיו. טאדה. Yeah, mine is quite different. Oh, okay. Well, this is the tune that I learned, certainly, and the tune that I uh, most often hear sung. And I think that the, our children did it at USY, and so they knew it better than I did. They'd come home from camp. Yeah, thinking. I learned it. I learned it through USY predominantly. Yeah, I don't know that they really taught it to me in Hebrew school. I recall learning it in USY. All right, so we're going to start reading it. Um... Let's see. Um, I apologize that, as usual, I can't see everyone on the screen at exactly the same time. At any rate, um, Marlene, will you start us? Um, maybe read to the period if you can. If you get stuck, I will help you. Okay. Sure. I'll look up there because I think it's bigger than it is in mine. Do you want me to make it even? I can make it bigger still. That would be great. I don't know. Okay. Hold on one second. That, that's beautiful. Is that good? Yes, thank you. Shir, Shir Hamalot, Bishuv Adonai et Shivat Sion Hayenu. Kaholim, Kaholim, The Kaholim, perfect. You did beautifully. Thank you. Very nice. Um, Susan, you're off your phone. You're ready to, you with me? Unmute. Your mouse went to sleep on you. <laughs> there we go. Az Malay. Az Yimalay. Yimalay, excuse me. Shahok. So this is a sin, not a shin. Zahok. Zahok. No. 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 Wool show Nainu. Na. Az Yimru. Yomru. So it's Yomru. Yomru. Okay. Bob Boyim Deal Hig Deal Yaho Adonai. This one's Adonai. So Ya Adonai Hig Deal Adonai. Right. Oh, Adonai La Ash La Ash Sos Im Sot. Yep. So why don't you stop? Stop after the one more word. Beam. Perfect. Good. Wonderful. So, um, so we're, I know when that sentence was long, so I'm trying to not make it <laughs> um, hard for people that have longer sentences. Um, Edith, will you continue with Ayla? Oh, on my in my book, that's the end of the sentence. Ayla. Okay, we'll start with the <laughs> word Ayla. You're right. They seem to have different. <laughs> That is right. Yeah. That's the last word of it's that just, sentence. Yeah. So, so read that word and then to the end of the next sentence. Ela. Big deal. 
Hi. 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 Adonai. That's Adonai. Yud Hey. That's Bavay. Adonai too. That, that's Adonai. In this version, that's Adonai. They put the they put vowels that you guys just aren't used to. Oh, it, I'm looking at my book. My book is different. Let me look at your screen. My book is different. My book just has two little symbols. But, but why, are they, why are there vowels? Because this version they put vowels. I don't know. I'm. I'm. It's less common, but it's. It's still Adonai. It's Yud Hey Vav Hey, but they put some vowels. Yeah, that's that's you're tricky. Not pronouncing it, I I don't get it. I can't answer because you know okay. I don't know. It's, but it's where the word Jehovah came from. It's a mistake. Precisely, it's where the word Jehovah came from. Yeah. Okay. Ela Deal Adonai. Very good. La. As, 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 out. Yes, la asot, exactly. Okay. Um, imanu, mm -hmm. hainu, same, him, same, him. Right. Stop right there. Perfect. Okay. Next sentence. Audrey, will you pick up? Shiva Adonai at Shabutenu Kafi Kim Banegev. Perfect. Oh, Banegev. Banegev, um, yeah. Before you, we go further, what does Rina mean? Because that's my cousin's name. Sing. To, oh, I can tell you. To sing and be joyous. It's my daughter's name. Oh, what a great name. And second, Result. Um, the every time she read it, the you know, the woman, um, I kept halting over um uh, Bago Bagoyim. Um so Goyim, I mean Goyim. Is that Goyim? I mean, what yep. does that mean? The other. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So, so what does it say in English for that? Well, so let's look in our, I'd rather look in Lev uh, Shalem for this. So what it says in Lev Shalem, um, so Shir, uh, right here we are. Yeah, okay. So a song of ascents. When Adonai returned us to Zion, we were like dreamers, our mouths filled with laughter, our tongues with song. So that's um Shir Hamala Bashu Adonai et Shivat Sion Hayinu Kaholin. That's this sentence. Um the nation said, How Adonai has raised them up. Azyamale, Schot Pinu, Oshonenu Rina. Um, Adonai did raise us up and we were happy. Um, so there's Nega. Uh, make our return, Adonai, like the streams suddenly gushing in the Negev. May those who sow with tears harvest with song. In tears, the sower walks back and forth, carrying the basket of seed. May the farmer return, carrying the harvested sheaves, singing. Okay, that help? No. <laughs> where, where was the word, where was Hagoyim found? Where was Hagoyim found in the beer cup? Well, so, <laughs> let's see. Shira Hamali Bishu and Shira Tzion Ki Hayinu Kacholim. So it's that's what Az Yamali Shok Pinu Ulshanenu Rina Az Yomru Vagoyim. Here it is. Az Yomru Vagoyim Kigdil Adonai La Asot Im Ela. So let's see what this one says. So this is Az Yamali Shot Pinu Oshanena Rina Az Yomru Vagoyim. So it's down here. Um, among the nations. I'm guessing it's this one. Then they sang among the nations. As, uh, yeah. Yeah. So it just refers to other. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're here. Hazo, Hazorim. Um, let's see. Uh, Marsha, can you read? I don't know. If yeah. You're... yeah. Okay. Az, hazarim. 
Hazo, you see the dot for O? Hazori. Oh, Hazori. Kad, but, but, them, but, them, ah, Varina, Yak Zor, Kazak Yak Zoru. Yik, 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 yeah, Yik, it's very teeny tiny. Yik Zoru. There you go. Yik Zoru, exactly. There's a, a lot of dots that you have to kind of follow <laughs> that one. Very good. Thank you. Small print. It is a little bit. Um, let's see. Um, Lenore, you haven't read. Will you go here at the end of this line? Sure. Halok, yay, leg, uva, ko, no, say, me, she, shek, shek, hazara, bo, yavo, Varina, no say, um, Lumotav. Very good, Alumotav. You guys are doing great. Now, I know we've never done this before, and you all read really smoothly, really well. Um, all right, should we? We'll go on to the next paragraph. That's not to say we won't come back and keep practicing this, but for continuity's sake and um, how the prayer works, we'll go on to the next paragraph. So hold on, let me switch screens. Hold on, I wanna go back to this. Okay, can everyone see the PowerPoint I have up? Yes. Oh, shoes, I'm sorry. Okay, so, oh, this is the right to, this is where I wanna be. All right, so um, there's kind of an invitation that is done or a, a, you invite others to join in with you. So the explanation here is that in order to do this as a communal prayer, when three or more adults have eaten together, one formally invites the others to join in giving thanks. Um, and then if 10 or more people are, you add Elohim for God. So now this is the other frustrating thing. So let's see, um, on page 80, page 88 in Lev Shalem, Lev Shalem, um, still page 139 if you're in the Women's League calendar. But there, and the reason I stopped sharing this other page that we were just on is the language changes a little depending on what version you're mm -hmm. looking at. So here, on my screen, this is what Women's League created, this PowerPoint. You have Rabotai, you have the word Chaverai, um, and in Lev Shalem, you have Chaverai or Chaverot, or I'm sorry, haver, you have Chaverai and Chaverotai before the word Nivarech. So Rabotai is learned people, right? Like Rabbi. Um, Chaverai, friends, um, so I guess the assumption here is that, um, the JTS is a student from JTS or a graduate of JTS created this PowerPoint. And it's very common that you have honored guests or you have clergy and other very well-educated members. And so you refer to them as rabotai, right? As opposed to just your friends who uh, may be male and female, you would say have rai. For women's league, we would probably say Haverotai, my female friends. Okay. Haverot is the plural. Then you add I tai, which is my Haverotai. Okay. Um, this one being a mixed ma male and female. Actually, we will have some men. At least, yeah, Monday we'll have Rabbi Artson with us. And we'll have, so yeah, we might say have rai at any rate. Um, so honored guests and friends, you know, join me to give thanks. Um, and then they respond, Yehi shem Adonai mevarach meyata ad olam. May I Adonai be praised forever and other. Then the leader um, would repeat that and then continue. So here you have choices again, birshut rabotai, or Birshut 
chaverai or birshut chaverotai, the same words we just talked about, you know, up here. Um, nivarech, and then if you have more than 10, which we will of course have, you add the word Eloheinu, um, she'achalnu, mishelo. Um, so achalnu is that we've eaten together, right? And now we're going to do this prayer together. Um, I can, oh, give me half a second. Must make this smaller. Oh, I don't want to do that. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Here. So, um, oh, this is going to mess us up. I'm not going to do it. So it goes like this. Uh, and then it would be repeated. And then it gets repeated. Baruch Eloheinu shachalanu mishelo uvtuvo chayinu. And then we go, Baruch Hu Baruch Shemo, which says, you know, oh, sorry, I keep doing that. And I do apologize. Um, I just mean to do other things and I'm messing it up. There we go. So, you know, your basic, um, we're going to now praise God, okay? Amen. So... Let me see if I go back here. So the next main paragraph is the Chazan paragraph, um, which is here, the blessing on the food, right? Um, and it sounds like this. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Hazan et Olam Kulo Betuvo Bechain Bechesed Rachamim Who knows Tain Lechem Lachobasar? I have a frog in my throat. Ki the Olam Hasdo Uvtuvo Hagado Hagado Tami Lachasalanu Ve Al Yachsarlanu Mazon so that's a very well known, I think, I mean, more well known paragraph, this opening paragraph um, that you can do on a weekday when it's not a holiday. Oh. Who was humming along with me? Somebody Edith. was. And Marlene. Okay. Yeah, I knew some of you would know it. Okay. Right. But we definitely know, know the tune. We know the tune. It's just keeping up with the keeping up with the crowd who've been doing it their whole life. Well, right. That's what I was trying to go slow. Um, I appreciate I that. that. That I definitely have phlegm in my throat and sound terrible. Um, but you know, you could, yeah, I was going to say I'm not really familiar with this. I mean, I, I go out to eat with cousins in Chicago who always bench afterwards, but usually I, I they don't do it simultaneously and I can't, you know, and it's not vocal. Um, but I knew that you had to repeat Rachamim, or I mean, I did repeat it. So where have I heard that in the show? Because um, we, I, I'm not aware that we did this. After, um, after Kiddush luncheons. Okay. Dinners. Okay. Because I just knew that's what you do. <laughs> I don't know why. Are you talking about this part up here? Where we just were. Where, no, where we just were. The Rachamim? Yeah. The yeah. Wherever we said, so, I think you were the other person, Marlene, who said Rachamim. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. instinctively. So I just knew, but I don't know why. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So um, and Marlene is, uh, I agree with Marlene that there are people who get very rowdy singing this. <laughs> well, that's kind um, of fun. <laughs> Which is perfectly fine. Okay. So let's read, um, we'll, um, 
you guys are going to get your practice sight reading today, which is really good for you. And I hope it's good for your confidence. So um, let's see who's here where. Okay. Um, Geraldine, would you read or would you prefer not to? I leave it up to you. Do the first line, Geraldine. That's really good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Can you come a little louder? Let me get your frog out my throat. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my group today. Yeah. HaOlam. <laughs> ha yeah. You're good to there. Hazan. Uh huh. Uh, et. Yes. Hayolam. Hayolam. Um, it's, uh, wait, hold up. Hello? No. Yeah. Oh. Hello, yes. Hello. Uh, that's a. Betovu. So close. Betuvo. Betuvo. Mm-hmm. Bak. Bahrain. Perfect. Beautiful. You did great. I'll read it back to you to prove that you know it. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hazan et HaOlam, Kulo Bituvo Bahrain. You did beautifully. You do know this stuff. You just need confidence, which I know is hard to come by. <laughs> Susan, will you continue? Oh, wait, hold on. I don't know if Connie's read in Hebrew. Connie did a lot of English reading. Connie, will you read in Hebrew? Sure. Bechain bechesed uvarachamim. Hu no tain lechem lachol basar ki liolam hasto. Uv tu vo hagadol. Okay, stop right there. You're doing so great. You need to give someone else a shot. <laughs> you did beautifully. Take it away. Take it away, Susan. Tamid lo haser hasar lanu v'al yech ser sar sar rather um lanu Mas zone. Yeah, skip the parenthesis. I don't know. Okay. The olam vayed. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'm going to just scroll up a little bit. Um, Audrey, you want to go? Uh, yes. Ba'abur shemo hagadol ki hu El Zan Um Um Far Far Um Far Nes. Yes, keep going. Okay, La Co Ume Tiv La Co Ume Ki. Stop right there. I have to applaud. You have so much more confidence than you used to. No ums, no, uh, 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 you did beautifully. So Thank good. You. Thank I'm you. I'm so happy. Marsha, will you unmute and do the last line? Mazon lakal bariyotav asher bara baruch ata adonoi hazan et hakol. Oh yeah. my gosh, ladies, <laughs> you guys did so great. Well, some you, of this I know from singing it. I never learned the whole thing, but there are lines I know from when we've done it at Temple. Really good. That was Connie-like. <laughs> this was so beautiful. I'm just tingling. You guys did great. I mean, you <laughs> we, know, made, we made Rachel Friday for when the students are ready, the teacher shall appear. And she you <laughs> did. You did. So here, I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay. This is a very little story. And it's so uh, it's, um, three weeks ago now, I think maybe, yeah. Um, I was doing my end of year solicitations 
um, I guess it was a little more than that. Um, I'm on the board of Jewish Child and Family Services here in Chicago. And this year I decided to do my solicitations by emails. And it was much more rewarding because people respond to my email and like right away. So I had done it at the early part of the week and um, several people had responded right away, just wrote the check, went online, made the donation, you know, boom, boom, boom. I was feeling really good. After class that Friday, um, I had an email from one of the women who I solicited. And I, I she knocked me off my chair. She gave ten thousand dollars. Oh my god! Wow. And wow. I, t- I got off. I, I, you know, I get off class and I look at my emails. And usually, I write our summary email to you all before I do anything else. But I saw that email. I'm like, hmm. I want to open. It. And I was just like flying the rest of the day. I instantly, you know, wrote her back thanking her. I instantly forwarded it to the. Um, chief financial officer at JCFS and then he's like wrote back immediately I was like because I wrote to him I put a new ray line that was like um I'm overwhelmed and he wrote back he said so am I (laughs) so you have given me a feeling like that it's like you just donated so much to to your own well-being and your own confidence and you proved it to me and that's marvelous so anyway all right. You got to pass, that, you gotta pass that along how great you feel to uh, Ellen and Julia. They'll they'll be oh. shepherds from that too. You're absolutely right. I should do that. <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry. This is right. Am I? Yes. Okay. So now the next main paragraph is mm-hmm. where we bless the land, um, which. Right. In um, Lev Shalem is the next page, 89, at least in what I'm looking at. So, um, and on our screen, no delecha. So it's a slightly different tune. No delecha, Adonai Eloheinu al shin al shin chal ta la avoteinu. I'm doing it slow so you can follow the uh, syllables. Eretz hemda tova or chava, the al shechot se tanu, Adonai Eloheinu, me Eretz meets Raim. Oh, I'm screwing up here. Let me think about this. No delacha, Adonai Eloheinu, Eretz hemda tova or chava, the al shechot se tanu, Adonai Eloheinu, me Eretz meets Raim, me Eretz meets Raim, uvid. Tanu mi beit avadim vial brit ha she hatam tabiv sarenu vial tarat ha she limaditanu vial hu kecha she hodan tanu vial chaim chain vachesed she honan tanu vial achilat mazon she atazan um farnes o tanu tamid beho yom u hal eight um hal sha all right excuse my poor tonation but that's what this paragraph sounds like when it's sung although often much much faster no de la har and i hear you shall have a new earth and that of our hava we also had to turn you are now here me earth with rhyme who think that on me wait of a dim we are be trash and that i'll be for it be sorry new we are to what i shall be monotone new we are who care has a new town new we are i'm going to have a john and down new we are he lot my son shut up as anyone is a ton of time in the hall young hall in a house literally that you can barely get this the syllables into what they're doing right but that's I mean, yes Marlene. um i was looking at the laminated blue version which is obviously abridged yep they start with it no de lecha i don't know yeah but then you continue and it's not on there i mean it's on your screen in safari but it's not on the um all right so i'm gonna look in unless i calendar. obviously you're going to so i'm looking in the calendar <laughs> No delicha, Adonai Lohenu al Shechin Halta la Avotenu, Eretem Datoba or Chavab. Oh, Brita Vitora, 
Chaim Umazen. Oh my God, it's super short. Is yeah. that what you have? Oh. Well, I'm here. And then it makes a reference to the holidays, you know, which are exceptional stuff. And then the next right. thing to is Bial Pakol at an So, oh, okay. In the abridged uh-huh. version, which we may be doing at the convention, <laughs> if it's in the calendar and it's in the laminated, I'm guessing. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so I don't know if I know how to sing. Let me think. You know, I imagine they just shorten it. I'm imagining they just do it like that because they took out all the tricky parts. Well, yeah, I just wanted to see if anybody else saw that because I should be looking on the screen and it's good chance to do sight reading for Hebrew. But since this is such a long prayer and the tune changes, I just had to see if anybody else noticed that. Well, no, you're absolutely right. That is the short version that appears in the calendar. So hold on. So let's, I'm going to switch in my Lev Shalem to page 94. Yeah, it, that's the short version. All right. So uh, maybe I should not teach you this longer version. Let me go back to the PowerPoint. It was a good sight reading exercise. <laughs> in, indeed it was. And you guys... <laughs> did a great job and blew me away um so i don't know why she repeats this all right i'm trying to find it on Shiramala, fine or what kind of a riff why okay so all right so here oh there are the motifs that's interesting i should take right. a picture of that I'm gonna i can a- send you this if you like okay that would be even okay, better here's no delicha okay this is the short version okay so i didn't show you this version earlier because i thought it's hard to read because of the highlighting um it is a little challenging to read with the highlighting but let me it's not too bad i mean okay it's, all right it's, it's, the color coding actually helps for those of us that are used to doing color coding <laughs> okay so I don't remember where I left off in terms of who needs to read. Um, Lenore, would you start at the top? Can, is this clear enough? Do you want me to make it bigger? Uh, no, I can see it. No, de lecha adenoi eloheinu al shehin hal ta Avotenu Eretz Hemda Tova Urhava. Perfect. Finish it off. Avrit. Yeah. Vatora. Two more words. Oh, Haim. Umazon. Umazon. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so there. this is an assignment for me that next week I will listen to, I will find the track that goes with this paragraph and I will learn this tune because that would help, wouldn't it, if I learned the tune. All right, so let's see what the next we, one is. Do we know where that is in Lev Shalem? Yes, it's so, on yeah. 94. 94. 94, right. This 94. is the abbreviated version that begins on 94. In the laminated so, or the calendar, according to Rachel. So it's in multiple places. Yeah. Short yeah. Version. But so Connie, on page 94, just above the halfway mark, is the word no delicha, you see? Yep, yep. All right, so that's what we just read, okay? Gotcha. Okay. And now, now we'll go to the al Hakol, which is indeed the next paragraph in... Lev Shalem on 94, and it's also on my screen. Let's see. So this one, the English, for all this, we thank you and praise you, Adonai, our God. You shall be forever praised by every living thing. Thus it is written in the Torah, when you have eaten and are satisfied, you shall praise Adonai, your God, for the good land which God has given you. 
praised are you, Adonai, for the land and for sustenance. So al hamazon and um okay so the al ha call adonai loheinu anachnu modim lach um varchim otach yit barach shimcha pefi kol chay tamid leolam ba'ed kakatu v'yachalta v'savata uveratcha et adonai lohecha Al ha'aretz ha'tova asher natan lach baruch atadonai al ha'aretz v'al hamazon. Okay, so that's how that one sounds. Um, Geraldine, um, would you read for us again? It would be my honor. Thank you. <laughs> Um, you can, uh, it's up to you. If you want to do, you see on my screen, um, uh, let's see, four, uh, why don't you, uh, no, is that what you're saying? We're on the Al Hakol. The Al Hakol Adonai Eloheinu. Mm hmm Okay. What did I say? Uh, Anak, no. Yes, yes. Oh, Anak Nu mm -hmm. Modin Lak. Exactly. <laughs> so, two more words. Two more words. Um, oh, wait a minute. Is that a. a yeah. Wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um. Um. Umvarkim. Yes. Are you serious? Okay. Umvarkim otach. Exactly. Umvarkim otach. You did beautifully. Really beautifully. Um, Edith, will you continue? Yit barak shimka by bapi. Buffy. This so it's a buffet, not a pay. Buffy. Yeah. Call Kai. Mm hmm. Tarmid. Leolam. Bayed. Bayed. But beautiful. Perfect. Stop right there. Um, Audrey, will you continue? Kaka two. The uh, call Ta. Achal. <clears throat> this is a, 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 it doesn't have a dot in the middle, so achal ta. Achal to. Ta. Vesava et. Ta. Uve ra varachta. Uve. Right, uve rachta. You had it, but I think then you messed yourself up. But you were right the first time. Okay. Et Adonai Elohim Hiva. Oh, look at the word. Say this word. Um, Elohecha. Exactly, Elohecha. Elohecha. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Stop right there. Connie, will you continue? Al Haaretz Hatuva Asher Tova. Let me find that. Hatova Asher Natan Lach. Lach. Perfect. Thank you. Um, all right. I have to find someone who I haven't. Where am I going? Um, Lenore, will you finish us off? Baruch atah denoi al ha aretz the al ha nazam. Perfect, beautiful. All right, ladies, I'm gonna stop. You guys blew me away. You should be so pleased that I threw this at you. You had no idea it was coming. I don't think you practiced it and you did beautifully.